Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 104 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series. As you can see, I've rearranged a few things here. Um, I think after we wrapped up last episode, I moved the Crusher. So the Crusher is now chilling right here. We can drop our cold coke in. It'll crush and uh, make stuff for us. Basically, we're up and running with the coke dust. Um, and I used this stuff um, to go ahead, as you can see, you can use coke dust for a handful of things. You can squeeze it into that hop graphite dust. Eight of them becomes one, and then one for one, and then you're gonna need four of them to get a graphite electrode. So, kind of spent a little time waiting for um, crushed graphite to be produced, because we're basically waiting for more cold coke. Um, so this thing's slowly but surely producing cold coke. I wonder if there's like a faster way to get cold coke. Like, just coke oven's really your only option there. I mean, there's the Railcraft coke oven as well, but I'm sure that's equally as slow. So we'll stick with the immersive engineering one. But now we've got the arc furnace, which can totally combine, as you can see, because I tested it off camera before I started recording. Wanted to make sure it would work before I recorded. Uh, iron ingot plus coke dust yields, dun dun dun, some steel. Nice. So he's gonna need a little bit more power that he's currently got. There's actually three power inputs in the back, I believe. Um, so we could, that might help with our power needs. Again, until, there we go, yeah, get a net gain there, nice. Until we get, um, you know, to a point where we're transferring power properly, uh, that'll have to do. So this guy's pretty much up and running. Um, and it, he produces steel, you know, not super fast, um, but it definitely is faster than, uh, previous methods. Now, can I do this out of curiosity? Oh, that requires more power if I want to do that, though. That's interesting. I've actually not played with this enough to really understand how well this works, but it may... Because I'm pretty sure one of the benefits of... It's kind of balancing out, right? So is it just going in order? Is that what it's doing, or no? I think we might need a little bit more help. I'm just learning here, don't mind me. Though I'm sure we're getting a limit of this 640R if it tick line. Uh, I don't know how much this is actually using. We're not getting a net gain right now. I might need to actually bump this up. But it seems to be pretty close. And it does seem to be processing more than one at a time, which is kind of cool. If I did that, so that's still a net gain. <clears throat> and it does look like all three are moving at the same time. So that's kind of neat. That's really kind of neat, actually. So we can have multiple pieces of steel being produced at a time. I like that. I like it a lot. All right, so um, today's episode, now that we got this thing basically up and running, I'd really like to get our power plant up and running. Um, so for that to occur, um, I need to get the diesel generator thing. Um, so let's review because I used some of the items that I needed to make elsewhere. So let's see what's needed for the diesel generator, right? So um, it's probably under power wires and generators. Diesel generator, looking cool. Um, so I'm gonna need six steel scaffolding and a redstone engineering block. Cool. Steel scaffolding. We're gonna need three more, so I'm just gonna make one more set. Cool. And then I just need 13 heavy engineering block. This one might be the expensive bit. Missing 84 steel, yeah. Well, I need, I technically only need 12. Missing 72 steel, haha. -ha. So that's gonna take a few minutes, right? Um, and we need more coke dust. So I, one of the things I might wanna do is play with conveyors a little bit here. I wonder, could we get some conveyors? Cause I wanna play with them a little. We do have a few from immersive engineering. So how does this work? If I ran conveyors up like so, and I think I can hit this with this hammer here to 
to like make it connect. I thought there was a way to make that happen. There we go, shift click it. Nice. Um, and then there, so if I shift click this guy with the hammer, he should be cool. This might work. Nice. Hey, that's actually neat. Um, I would kind of like to do this, if I may. So that it looks like it's more, you know, feeding the items in. That's kind of neat, right? Ha! <laughs> Little visual derpage there, but that might be because of the way that I'm, you know, running this up. Neat though. All right, guys. So let's try this out. If I drop that guy on there, he should happily convey his way right up into there. Perfect. That's cool. Now, if I remember correctly, you can't extract directly out of a chest. Like they won't auto extract, but you can hopper them onto the belts. Um, so that's an option. So we could have like an input chest here so that anything that goes in here makes its way onto the conveyor belts and boom. What's up, Bat? How cool is that? I like it. That's one option. We could do a few more things with this. So I need to produce lots of steel, effectively. See, look, these things are progress barring at the same time. Cool, but four of them, too much power for four? Yeah, a little bit too much power for four. Neat though. So once we get more power piped into this thing, we could actually process this like 12 at a time, which is actually really quick and awesome. The only downside is these graphite electrodes. Um, they cannot be automated. Unless something changed, which I don't think it did, from what I understand, graphite electrodes cannot be automated, which is a bummer and a half. Uh, so here's what I'm gonna do. All right, we're going to come back in a few minutes once we've gotten the necessary amount of steel to build the diesel generator, and then we'll kind of go from there. Cool? All right, see you guys in a minute. By the way, real quick, making myself a Solangalia, uh, because what I'm finding is, um, not that this is the end of the world, well, it kind of is the end of the world, um, my magnet is sucking in items. So watch. Dun dun dun. Zoinks. Not the scenario we wanted to see. So I'm going to stick the Solongolia back here and we'll see if that helps. Uh, remember, Solongolia means magnet doesn't work in an area of effect. Hopefully, nice. Very cool, right? So slowly but surely waiting for more coke dust. This is the start, like the hardest part of this right now is um, producing coal coke. Steel's actually not that bad. It's not even steel anymore. It's it's coal coke, um, which we've got two machines producing this stuff as you know quickly as we can. Um, but yeah, it's still taking its sweet time. Oh, and this thing's full, which means we have a lot of creosote oil, which is kind of nice, but also need more coke. So we're right back. All right, guys, we're back. And I think we now, this will be the last set of steel that I need, if I'm not mistaken, I think. Um, one thing I remembered is that I had refined iron cooking. So I've got a bit of that. Uh, steel it's called now, isn't it? Stealing it. Industrial Craft 2 steel. So I had some of that cooking, and I used a little bit of acceleration wand to help that come along. And I think now, after all this time, I can make a dozen of you. Nice. Heavy amount of steel, but that's okay. If we keep producing cold coke, we should be fine. Um, the only thing is now that we are starting to fill this tank up, so that means these internal buffers are filling. So I would probably want to get like a fluid trash can of some kind um, and consider for now just voiding any liquid. So what I'll do is just push um, and then we should see these guys draining, empty and empty, and then you're gonna drain out, cool? So we'll just void any excess Creosote oil, because we've got a lot of it at this point, right? Like, so it's fine. Uh, cool, we should be good to make this doohickey. So let's get him going, right? So um, pipes and then that thing, and then pipes across with steel and that stuff, right? So these three are gonna go here. 
Um, the steel scaffoldings go here. This is a large and monstrous machine, but it should be cool. One of these dudes, the generator blocks, and let's get the second layer going. Pause. Um, more generator blocks. Those look like heavy with a redstone in the middle. So the redstone goes here. Those look like heavy, more generator blocks. And going on a limb, I assume that was there, and then a heavy and a plus pattern. And I'm gonna assume I'm wrong. There we go. Hey, bad for the environment. Nice. Look at that awesome looking diesel gen. That is cool. Uh, so apparently the fluid pipe's in there or there. So either one of those can be fluid pipe endpoints. So what if I did something like this? Now I don't know if you're gonna auto extract from there. I'm gonna hope that you do. Um, Cause if you do, that would be cool. So that might be neat. Um, and then the top spots here where we get the power out from. And I'm trying to remember if uh, I believe redstone signal goes there. So if I grabbed myself a lever, I think that's your on off switch, if I'm not mistaken. Should we get this thing kicked on? I think that sounds like a plan. Uh, so let's underneath here. Uh, this is where we're gonna run the diesel generator fuel into. Cool. Um, so let's just run it like so. Cool. We'll run this all the way across. If you remember from last episode, one of the things I was worried about was like how that connection would be. So now we know. You are supposed to be my traveling staff. Neat. So is this draining? I hope it does appear to be this thing. I'm assuming has some kind of internal buffer that I can't see at the moment. Um, and I'm assuming this fluid tank will start to fill up at some point as well. So let's take a quick nap. And what I'm going to work on next is maybe a capacitor of some kind. So there are immersive engineering capacitors um that can store power the hv capacitor i don't know if it tells you on the tooltip it's not a huge amount though it's like four ish million rf a tick let's see um current transformer redstone wires thermoelectric generators All kinds of neat gadgets and toys in there. Tools and simple machines. Uh, it doesn't, I don't see capacitors, let's see. Um, yeah. Interesting. You know what, it might be under basic wiring. Basic wiring might have capacitors. That's pretty much what we're going to look at. Um, each connector is input 256, 1024, 4096. So we're going to want HV power for sure. Um, yeah, and then the capacitor number is... Are you going to tell me what the numbers are for capacitors? I want to say it's like 4 million. So we're just going to make one and find out. Uh, so capacitors. Sounds like fun. Going to need a little bit more steel. Um, we're going to need a block of lead. Sounds like a fun time. Uh, we're going to need more treated wood planks. I can request those, can I? Pretty close to what I'm going to need. So let's get ourselves the coal coke that we have over here. I've got like nine now, so that's cool. We'll let that grind up. We'll get ourselves a little bit more steel. Um, and 
we'll get this stuff up and running. I don't know why you became a nuisance. Weird. Nice. Actually, not sure why you're running still. You should be done. Stop running. Stop running. There we go. HV capacitor. Nice. Um, haven't entirely decided how I want this to be. I'm thinking like the capacitor could be maybe up on the roof. So power is going to be coming from over here. So like, let's imagine we had a roof and it was kind of like centered in the room, right? So if we had our ruler or a tape measure. You're making lots of tree taps, aren't you? So this room, as I recall, is around 31 meters. Cool, by 31, right? So if we wanted to be right in the middle here, we'd want to be right around the 16 mark. So this should be the exact center of the room. That seems about right. So let's imagine that we had a ceiling, right? I'm just pillaring up. Like, let's say that that is the ceiling block right here, right? because I want this to be a relatively tall room. And that seems like it'll house all our machines just fine. So I could throw the capacitor here. We can hit this side with a blue thing, and that's gonna be the power input. And I think that would work. Uh, so let's get HV wiring and a couple other things. So for HV wire coils, we're gonna need aluminum and steel wire. So let's get some steel, which we should have some of. Cool. And let's get some aluminum. Let's get like eight of each. Does that sound fair? So you guys should be about done. And here I will put you guys and you will get pressed into the wires. Nice. Uh, and then, because HV is totally the power system I wanna go with, right? Uh, we're also gonna need some sticks, which you know won't be a problem. We have plenty of those. Um, and then HV, the other things we're gonna need are connectors and relays. Connectors, do exactly what they say, they connect to existing blocks, and relays run a bunch of wires together. Um, so let's get, so we've got some aluminum, we're just gonna need some hardened clay. I'm gonna go cook up like a stack of this stuff. Let's pop to our base real quick. Cool. You guys should be getting close to done. Beautiful. Now you got a few minutes left. So let's get our HV connectors. We're gonna want a handful of these. And we're also gonna want a handful of these guys, which need insulating glass from immersive engineering, which is made like so. New thing for me, crushed iron, iron sand, iron dust. So let's get some iron. I bet if we throw it in the crusher, that'll get us what we need. So HV wire coils, we'll get as many as we can from the set we just made, 32 sounds good. And then for you, we're gonna need some insulating glass. And eight should be a good start, and then we'll go from there. That sound cool? So, place the connectors on the blocks, like so. Um, what I'm gonna do is stick a connect a relay here, and I'm pretty sure these are the power outputs. So the way this works is, you run your wiring to your relays, 
And then your relay can run to the connector to actually feed the power in. So this is capable of storing 4 million IF. This thing's actually filling up pretty nicely. So let's flip this dude on. All right, totally didn't work. Um, wondering if I have to pipe out the bottom here because you don't seem to be getting the diesel that I want you to get. So for testing purposes, let's say that you need to be piped out the bottom. Because you're totally filling up with stuff, so that's good. So it might need to be that I pipe out the bottom. And if that's the case, that's kind of going to be a nuisance for me. But we'll, uh, we'll deal with it, as it were. Because I really don't want these connecting at the moment, so I'm going to go out of my way to make sure that they don't. So that all looks good. Do you have to rely on gravity, basically, is the question we're about to find out. I assume that this is the liquid input. Interesting. How do I get liquids out of this tank? <laughs> I have no idea. Well, when in doubt, uh, let's test further. Because now I'm not sure if it's a liquids problem or what. So let's get fluid ducts, and we'll see if there's actually liquid coming out of this stuff. Fluid. Item duct, impulse item duct. Let's get hardened fluid ducts. So it's going to need some hardened glass and some invar. Right? Nice. I'll just cook up a little bit more for the time being. So let's do this. So here's a question, right? Are you auto outputting? And we would know that. Interesting. It doesn't seem to be. So it's like you would need a servo, basically. All right, let's get one of those. Missing two tin nuggets. Really? Go, servo, go. All right, so cross your fingers, guys, that this is going to work properly. And maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe, you know, I don't have the lever proper. I don't know. That's The purpose of this test is to find out if there's actually fluid in there. So if I tell you to ignore redstone, hello. Generator's running. And the lever turns off. Cool. Now I think I can invert that by hitting it with a torch or something. So you should now be getting power, which is awesome. You totally are. That is cool. And then I can 100% run wiring out this side and this side to power all my machines. How cool is that? Ah, uh, I like it. So why did you not get your fluid from your fluid pipes? That's the main question. And I also want to, like, you know, fancy this up a little bit. So let's uh, let's fix this layout. Uh, come here, you. I might need my hammer. Don't I have a crescent hammer? Oh, there it is. I do have one. Enderman. What are you doing here? Spying on me. No doubt. All right, so the best way probably to run this stuff so that it's... No, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I shouldn't have lost all the liquid in there, but if I did, it's not the end of the world. Oh, come on! Did that really empty out all the diesel that was in there? No way. That emptied out all the diesel that was in there. That is awful. And terrible. Terrible. 
All right, so let's get the piping. So you should now start going and filling this up a little bit. I guess we'll see if it starts refilling. I'm really annoyed that that reset the fluid in the tank. That stinks. And then what I'll probably wind up doing is just the bounding box on this is a little bit funky. That. Cool. So look, we're starting to get biodiesel again, so that's kind of good. Uh, let's do... Like I said, the bounding box on this is a little bit funky. <laughs> Ignored. Nice. Cool, dudes. Now you didn't fill up, did you? Oh, wow. You filled up 4 million RF already. So that's cool. That was quick. Um, so it will automatically shut off as needed. So now let's run some wiring over here. Let's get a wand. And let's get some bricks. Because I want to simulate how this is going to look kind of for real. Um, so we're going to get rid of all these things. And we're going to get rid of all these things. And we'll have our HV connectors right here. HV connector. HV connector. HV connector. You guys will each need an HV connector. Cool. So those will power all those machines. You guys need an HV connector. We'll take care of this wall first. How's that sound? Cool. So let's build it up. And remember, temporary wall. I'm going to make this place look cool. Or I'm going to at least attempt to. Okay, so that's what it'll look like. Uh, what I'm thinking we'll want to do, I forget how many connections a relay can have. Da 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 da. I don't know if there's a limit, to be honest with you. Uh, so let's try it straight up, right? So we want this dude here, and then I want you basically to run straight over to here. And then let's see how many connection points we can make, if there is even a limit. I don't know if there is. I would assume there is. There's a range limit, that's for sure. But I don't know if there's like a like you can only have like 10 connectors or whatever. Thus far, we don't seem to be running into much of a problem though. So you guys should all be having no problems getting power at this point, which is kind of cool. Sawmill needs power. Nice. So you're doing a pretty good job of maintaining power. And this thing's running right now because we're using the power that we're producing to make more diesel and everything. Nice, dudes. That is awesome. How cool is that, huh? Um, and then what I'm also thinking I'd like to do, let's see, do I have like a nice ax? Get this silly tree out of my way. Both of them, actually. All right, so let's clear out this. And clear these things out. 
So then we're gonna want connectors here. These guys can actually accept, the arc furnace here can accept power here, here, and here. So this is actually kind of annoying, but like the arc furnace is like one step too close to the wall for me right now. And we'll figure that out. Um, we'll figure out how to deal with that. I might have to bump it out one, or I might have to bump the wall back one. But if I bump the wall back one, then the, the building's not the right shape. So we'll figure that out. But for now, I need more bricks. You go away for now, you're good. Nice, what do you guys think? Pretty cool so far? Again, temporary, out of bricks. I want this to be like a proper cool looking building. I'm just kind of trying to get the layout proper. Okay, so those guys definitely need to connect back there, which is kind of annoying. So you can sort of connect wires like that. So we'll wanna do an HV from here to here. So we want this actually probably, I want this to kind of be a straight line. I'm having a lot of trouble telling where this is. But I think that's right. U to you. And then from here to here to power this dude. So let's get some coal coke. Crush it up. And you should be having no problems with power. Nice. So what I'm gonna do is connect these like this for now. The connection is obstructed. That's annoying. Um, let's let's put another connector here. And then you can run to this guy, this guy, and this guy. And that should be cool. Right? Um And then for now, that'll be good. And we'll deal with that at some point. So that's looking pretty good. I wanna try this now <laughs> and see how it goes. Uh, so I've got a decent amount of coke dust here, right? So if I throw this in here, okay, yeah, that's using a lot of RF. That's definitely uh, pegging my ability to power this thing. So six at a time doesn't seem to be a problem in terms of power needs. It's pretty good. Not bad at all, right? All right, I think it's wrapping up point. So let's do this, let's wrap up the episode here. We will come back next time, and I think it's make the building look nice time. So I'm gonna try that on camera, and we'll see how it goes. I don't make any promises uh, at all. You guys know me and my ability to make things look nice, uh, but I will try, and we'll see what happens. And you guys will have to give me feedback at the end and say, Dyer, it looks great, or oh, Dyer, never do this again. All right, for now, Daryl 20 signing off. Hope you guys Enjoyed the episode, and as always, please do take it easy.